Hello again. Right, some more boxing videos. This is the new thing there, the fifth one. And in that time, we've basically learned different things. We'll have a quick recap of what we learned. And today we're going to try, if I can do it as well, put them all together. Because I've, uh, I haven't boxed for a lot of years myself, but let's have a look. They say you don't forget. So what we're going to do, we're going to, what we've learned so far, remember, the first session was how to stand. So that was either, is your feet and shoulder width apart, remember? And it, depending on which, if you left leg or right leg and, and you led, is whichever leg you took out. So with me, because I'm orthodox, take my left leg to there and slightly turn my right leg out. If I'm southpaw, my feet will be shoulder width apart, I take my right leg up, left leg, and I leave with my right. Okay, so then we've done, I'll do be static, we've done straight punching, remember? Then we've done hooks, then we've done uppercuts. And we learned all them, moving forward, moving back, moving right, and moving left. Okay, so what we're gonna try and do today now is suddenly a bit of combination punching. We're gonna move different directions at different times, throwing punches. So I might move forward, then to the right, then to the left, then back, and I'll do a mixture of punches. So it might be two, might be straight, then a hook, then a uppercut, a bit like that. You'll see us go along with what I'm trying to do. Uh, so let's hope it all goes well. It should be all right. So we're going to start off moving forward and we're going to do a combination. I'll tell you the combination as I throw them. So I'm going to move forward. So in front foot, then I'm going to do left, right, left hook, right uppercut, straight left. You get that? So we're going to step forward again, watch me, left, right, left hook, right uppercut, left uppercut, move to the right. Once again, I'm going to do a different combination now. Don't worry if you can't keep up, this is a bit of a fun one to see if you've learned as we go. All we're going to do here, we're going to start with two uppercuts and two hooks and a straight left. So that's one, two, three, four, boom, back in, back to the middle. I move around a bit, while I think of the next combination, to the right, move to the right, move to the left, move back, move back, move forward, stop, one, two, three, two hooks, one, two, two uppercuts, and a left hook. Okay, we'll make sure we check that we're going forward and back, we're going to move to the right, make sure we stop, we're going to just do three straight punches, one, two, three, let's start to speed up just a little bit. Let's see what we've learned. We're going to go back. Make sure we're just leaning back and forward. Make sure everything's okay. Let's move around a bit. Relax the shoulders. We're going to go forward and throw three left hands and a left hook. So it's just step forward. One, two, three. Left hook. And again. Step forward. One, two, three. Left hook. Backwards. Move around. Keep your breathing. Think about it. Okay. We're just going to go for... Next one, we're going to do three uppercuts, and then we're going to move to the right and do three hooks. So from here, it's just going to be one, two, three, move to the right, one, two, three. Check your feet again, go slightly off balance myself, move around, let's just go forward, start letting your brain think about it. Stay still, and now we're thinking, so we're going to do three straight punches, three hooks, and three uppercuts all together. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, slightly out of spec, but that's what I mean. Now we're gonna start moving, move to the right, move to the left. I'm just gonna do some combinations without talking. Just watch them as I'm doing them. That's all this. I'm gonna move around. One, two, three, bang, 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 bang. Okay, I might be moving a bit faster now. This is just to show you though, different things you can do. I'll slow it down a bit now and talk a bit. All I'm going to do is just use my body. Little faint punches now. Get my mind back. I'm going to do a combination now of three lefts, right hand, left hook. So it's just going to be going forward, stop. One, two, three, right, left. My hands come back up. Once again, I'm checking my feet. All in the right place. Go to the left. I'm going to go three straight punches. One, two, three, hands up. Right, one, two, three. Right again, one, two, three. Gotta go left and throw three hooks. Left, one, two, three. 
Left again. Three uppercuts. One, two, three. Back to the middle. Three straight. One, two, three. Back. Three straight. Bang. Okay, keep moving around. Let's come back to the centre now. Okay. Been out of breath myself. I've done that for a few years. But I hope I'm showing there. I don't want too fast of what we can build up to. But remember the basics, so I'll go over again. The most basic thing I can tell you what you can do is your legs. So once again, I'll cover that. If you haven't got a base and your hands are not up, nothing else. If I punch it like that, I don't get no power. If my legs are too wide, I don't get nothing. And if they're too close together, I'm gonna to fall over and get no power. So the base is always the most important thing. Your hands are on an axle. And if you look at it now, as you start going on, with a lot of little, couple of little boxing tricks is, when somebody punches you, if your feet are in the right place, I'm there and somebody punches me, I can just lean back out. So I've leant back and their punch would fall short. But when I come in, my would be in range. So I got that base, if you have a look. If he hits me as well, my base is quite strong, I'm hoping that I'd be able to take the punch. But if my feet were close in, I'd tumble over. If they were back, I'd go right back. So make sure the feet are the most important thing and always in the right place. I'll probably be doing some more boxing videos after this where we can do some drills. If you can practice these basic ones I've done and that one I've done today, which might have been a little bit faster in places, but that was just to show you what you can build up to. And there's other moves I can show you. So over, after, once we've done these first five, which will all be going out next week, Monday to Friday, and the next couple of weeks after that, we might be able to one where we do a lot more drills, which where we can do a lot more combinations going forward. And I can show you something else which might be, is how to move a lot quicker. So it's just one, it's just a bonus, because I like talking as well. So I want to move to my right really quick, that's quite slow. But if I want to move quick, I can do this. If I want to move to the left, I can do that. So really quick, I move in. Back there. So one, two, three. I go left, one, two, three. So my feet are still there in the right place. I always find it harder going to the left, but to the right, if you watch, all I'm doing to move there quicker is one, two, three. But it's got to be quick. One, two, three. So your opponent will be coming at you, one, two, three, and he'll be there. So then you can throw your hooks or uppercuts as he's coming in. And if, he's, if you want to go back that way, it's just one, two, three. One, two, three. Out of the practice, but it's easier to practice the right one, because one, two, three. Okay, that's a bit more advanced, but over the next couple of weeks, we'll do some more boxing videos. We'll, we'll uh, do that sort of thing. We can move up to the next level, like you say, when we come out of the lockdown, when? <laughs> when we come out of lockdown and you go back to the gym, boxing clubs, or you buy some gloves or a bag, you can practice all these a lot uh, a lot better then and get good at them. It's just something else I hope is give you another string to your bow, or something to do in the abs. And actually, unlike a, a lot of exercise, you don't have to use your brain. When you're boxing, your brain's getting a nice workout as well. Boxers are not all punch drunk, remember? As people think they are, they have to have quite a good brain. Once again, I'll go back to Mike Tyson, even though he seems to be an animal and all that, if you watch him box, he is very, very clever in all his fights. His movement was very good. The same as Muhammad Ali, like they were two different types of fighters, but both of their movement was really good, what they'd done. They were always in complete control of their bodies, wherever they were in the ring. All right then, thank you again. So uh, next week they'll be out every day from Monday to Friday, and each one steps up a bit. Thank you for watching. Remember, get your friends to have a look, friends, family, nan, granddad. Well, your nan and granddad are probably the better ones because they could be isolation. Uh, so anybody who's there, if the kids want to watch it, you could do it as a family, really. You could do them all as a family. So, uh, Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, if you've liked it, give me a like, put a comment if you want to, and there'll be some more coming out in the near future. Thank you.